Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. With gas prices on the rise and the cost of groceries absolutely unbelievable, if you can find what you're looking for, it's nice to be able to make a quick, easy, affordable meal. So to save you a little money, I'm gonna show you how to make a poor man's ramen carbonara. Start off with some prep work, nothing too complicated. Grab a can of Spam, yes, oh, this is how you do it. The typical Italian recipe would call for guanciale. And what it is is pig gel. And even if you could find that in the local market or store, it would probably cost you an arm and a leg. So to save some money for the struggle meal, spam will do. For this recipe, I'm only gonna use half, so I'm gonna get choppy choppy, cut it up, dice it, and save the rest. Mm, you could probably save it about 100 years. It probably would last. No, I'm just kidding. Don't save it 100 years. For all of you out there that don't like a lot of salt in your meals, you might wanna use the reduced sodium spam. You can cut the spam any way that you like. You can cut it in cubes, into strips, just whatever you prefer, but once it's cut, crank that burner up to medium to high heat, drop in about half of a tablespoon of butter, that's about seven grams. Make sure to use unsalted butter. There's plenty of salt in that spam, you don't need to add any more. Drop your trailer park guanciale into the pan, give them a shimmy or a shake, stir them around, make sure they're well coated in that butter, and have the courage to burn. Bring out some color in those bad boys. Color is flavor. While this cooks, it usually takes about three minutes, it's a good time to start preparing the sauce. Break out some of that them there Parmesan. Nothing fancy here, you don't need a block of Parmesan, the size of a bar of soap that you have to trade your firstborn child for. Come on, do you know what I'm talking about? The traditional version of this recipe is absolutely amazing. Being able to convert it to such a budget-friendly recipe, priceless. It's not only low cost, it's a no-brainer to make. You can make this in a flash with items that you probably have in your pantry. After you've added an egg and you've cracked in some pepper or just poured in some for that matter, grab a spoon or a fork and mix it all together. Once it's well combined, you can just put it down to the side and get it ready for later. Next step, we're not gonna use those traditional spaghetti noodles. However you could if you wanted to, we're gonna use ramen noodles. And you know what, because they're not Italian, you can break them in half. Drop your ramen into boiling water. Let them cook until they're almost done. My instructions say to cook them for three minutes, so I'm gonna cook them for about two to two and a half minutes. If you wanna save some time and you have more than one burner, then you can start cooking the ramen halfway through the cooking process of the Spam. Once those noodles are done, bring that pan full of Spam back. Crank the burner up to low heat and add the noodles to the pan. Combine the ramen with the meat and it's a perfect time to use that ramen in the liquid to help scrape the bottom of the pan to release those bits and pieces. That's flavor and you want that in your sauce. Add your egg and Parmesan mixture to the top of the noodles. If the pan's too hot and you add it directly to the pan, it might scramble those eggs. Pour in some of the hot ramen water and mix everything together. The key here is low heat and a lot of mixing. After about a minute or two, it should be nice and creamy and coat those noodles. If your sauce is too thick, you can always add some additional hot ramen water. And that's all there is to it. In less than 10 minutes, you have a gourmet struggle meal. A ramen carbonara made with Spam. I hope you found this recipe helpful. If you did, smash that like button and I really hope it saves you some cash. And if you're looking for additional struggle meals, check out this chip beef gravy, otherwise known as you know what on a shingle. It's absolutely delicious. Fantastic. Thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.